a lot of the places that I like to visit uh, are sometimes off the beaten track. Uh, well, this one couldn't be uh, any different if it tried. This is very much on the beaten track as it's situated just off this busy A road that runs from Sirencester over to Letch Lake. Um, so it's a, a site that many people, including myself, frequently drive past uh, without knowing that inside there is a little hidden gem. Uh, and as often the case, it has a good story to tell as well. And this story relates to the Black Death. Uh, and also we're going to see some quite extraordinary 13th century medieval wall paintings. So here we are at the turning up to the church of... Yes, let me park up here. The Church of St. Mary. So the Church of Ampney St. Mary. Uh, so we'll just park up and then uh, we'll go and have a look at it. And it really is worth a stop. So if you're passing and you see it, I can't recommend that you stop enough. OK, but I'm just going to get off the bike and we're going to do it. So this is the Church of Ampney St. Mary. And one of the first things that you notice about this church is that it kind of feels in the middle of nowhere. There's no village whatsoever. Um, and when you look at the map, Ampney St. Mary is roughly two miles away. Um, and the reason behind that, so it's thought, is the Black Death, the infamous Black Death. Uh, the idea being that this, uh, there was a village here, um, but it suffered really terribly in the Black Death of the plague. Uh, huge loss of life and the people that remained uh, abandoned the village um, and when they came back uh, and decided to restart their lives they did so uh, about two miles away because it was on higher ground and potentially it may well have just had um, less horrible memories uh, than this place did uh, but what it's done it's created a, a church that is um, incredibly picturesque but just literally in the middle of nowhere and it's it's just quite quite lovely so the church itself is broadly norman very simplistic very simple structure um, very well preserved um, really in good condition um, and it holds another little secret inside which we'll uh, just going to have a look at so the church itself um, Look at that for an ancient door. That's in some service, isn't it? Um, as I said outside, it's very simplistic. Um, nice little structure. But inside, there are the remains of some 13th century medieval wall paintings. So I'm just going to extend the um, tripod so I can get a little bit higher. Hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. Um, but uncovered under some of the um, plaster, are these uh, quite amazing medieval wall paintings which you can see up here and they're relatively well maintained some have obviously been lost to the ravages of time still still in place still quite interesting So there you go, some medieval wall paintings. The rest of the church, as I say, very simplistic. Um, got a certain rustic charm to it. Uh, no great architectural features of note, really, other than uh, uh, it, it's uh, just a really pleasant church to pop into. So there you go, the church of um, Ampney St. Mary. Sorry, Mary St. Ampney. Uh, lovely little church. And uh, outside, um, it's got a nice little, because um, it's isolated location, uh, there's also, let me just shut this door, keep the birds out, run the risk of these, these small churches, the birds can sometimes get in and cause absolute havoc, so it's always important to shut the door behind you when you leave. Um, so as I say, nicely isolated, and if we just walk out the back here, um, out the back of the church, I like the way it's not even a path up to the front door of the church. I know that appeals to me, that does. So just walk out the back of the church here. And just flick this catch, open the gate, and then another gate through here. All these hidden gems in the Cotswolds. It's almost worth stopping at any church, you see. Uh, so we come out the back here, and there is the river. Look at that, just serenely floating down. 
really is picturesque isn't it it's um a lovely part of the world around here um, and I suppose if I'd say to anybody who comes to the Cotswolds um, yes enjoy all the big places but just get off the beaten track if you see something that looks remotely interesting stop have a quick look um, you're very rarely going to be uh, disappointed so there you go uh, a little hidden gem that I'm sure lots of people pass uh, every single day I certainly have uh, without thinking to stop and then when you do you realize what an absolute gem uh, is, on, is on your doorstep so there you go right back on the bike and uh, head on